Hello everyone, welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to talk about a kit that's in the Autumn Winter catalogue. This kit is to make some tags and you make 30, 10 of three different designs look. And it all comes in this lovely box and all everything that you need is held within the box. Now I've actually made the kit up because I wanted to see how long it would take me to do it. But in the kit you get very good instructions of how to make it and it's done in picture form which I always find much easier. Okay, so there's your instructions and then you get everything that you need make up your tags. Now I put mine in little plastic bags just to keep them separate. Okay, um, you get a block, you get a little ink pad, we call these ink spots and that is in Poppy Parade and then you get lots of push cut, die cut pieces and these are what's left over. And I'm trying to think whether I might be able to do something with these. That's why I've, I've hung on to them. Do you think they look like windows? I do. That's what I'm thinking of. You get some dimensionals. Um, this is the um, some bits that you get that are the centre of... If I can show it to you, which one? Better pop, oh, I'll just drop a bit on is the, is the centre that comes out of that one. So they're just blank and you don't use them. So you get ten of those. You get some little glue dots. Um, and then there's some bits that are left over. Which I'm hanging on to everything. Right. So. I, well, now I've made them all up. And I can see what I've got left. I thought well. That's too good to throw away. So I thought I would see if I could make some more tags. Because I've got everything I need here. All I need is a bit of card. And perhaps another ink colour, that's all. So let me get this box out of the way. So, let me just show you again. Oh, what have I done with the other tags? So there's that one. There's that one, and then there's this one, okay, so they're lovely and they're like little books, so if you wanted to you could stamp to and from, because you get a stamp set with it as well, look there's the stamps and there's a to and a from there, no I didn't, because when I sent parcels I like to write a little missive inside they get a little quite a long message inside mine so I didn't stamp anything inside mine but you could easily and um, this one have a Merry Christmas now I think in the in this yes can you s oh no it's this one this one here, look, says, you've been very nice. Well, I couldn't imagine sending that to anybody, so I changed it. And mine now says Christmas Joy, which I thought was better. But you can, you can change, so you can change them around, even though they're a kit. So let me get on and show you what I thought I would do. So from my stash, I have pulled out some Whisper White... And this measures three inches by two inches. And I've punched, I've given it this pretty top using the delightful tag topper punch. Okay, and because it measures two inches, it will fit into it perfectly. Then I've used some of the twine that was left over. This is one of the punch out pieces that I didn't use. So that's going to go on there. And then I've got a little die cut circle, okay, uh, or you could use a punch circle. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this little deer on it. So I'm going to get some grid paper. 
so I don't get mess everywhere. going to do is I'm going to use some of the glue dots and the dimensionals so I'm going to put a glue dot I'm going to get a little pokey tool I think it'd be easier back to them. So I'll just pull those off and then put that on there. And look how lovely that tag, that end, that um, punch shape goes with that tag topper. That's really nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back of this little circle and pop that onto my label. Nice. So that's a very, that took seconds didn't it? Didn't take very long at all. So that's that one and then another one I've done the same thing again. This was three inches, three inches by two inches, and I've used the tag topper, sorry, the delightful top tag topper punch, and then I've di I've punched out this shape, which is the everyday label punch, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the word sentiment from the stamp. So I've put on here, have a Merry Christmas. And this is a, I think this is a one and a half inch. No, it's a two inch lab, uh, circle that I've just punched out using a punch. And if you've got a die, you can use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oops, picked up the, so let's just put some ink on here. Stamp that. Lovely. And then I'm going to bring in some shaded spruce. There's a lovely little um, flourish, that's the word I'm looking for, in the stamp set. So I thought what I'll do is I'll just stamp the flourish on here, underneath Christmas. Now I'm going to try and not get my head in the way, but I might have to. Oh, that's not bad. Right, let's put that away. Okay. Bring in my little bits. And this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the whole lot up on some dimensionals. So I'll put some dimensionals behind this bit. And you get two pieces with dimensionals like this. And I used one, but I've still got all those left. Oh, let's stick that on first. 
first, I think. Oops, did you see what I did there? So, that's going to go on there like so. Or should I do it that way? No, I'll do it vertically. So there's an idea for a couple of tags making leftover bits and the stamp that comes with it. Okay, so that means I would have 30 um, tags from the kit. Then I could make up another 10 using these um, punched out bits that are from the kit. And then I could also make some more just using the stamp set and a bit of scrap card, really. And the other thing that I thought would be nice um, is I thought I would make some wrapping paper. So what I did was I went to my local post office and I bought a roll of brown paper. Now I cut this into four and I... I've, as you can see, it's a huge piece. Let me see if I can if I take this off of here. I won't unwrap the whole thing because you won't see it because it's too big. But that is a quarter of it, so it is big. And what I've done is I've taken the, the stamps and I've just stamped all over it. Okay, so there you have some lovely homemade wrapping paper that matches the tags okay and I thought you need some ribbon to wrap your parcels with so this is shaded spruce ribbon with a lovely gold thread through the middle and I thought that, that would go nice with it and because what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of putting this on my craft table and see if anybody would like to buy it and then I wrapped it in the same ribbon so they've got extra ribbon as well Something to wrap your parcels in. Oh, things are falling over here. And this has got 30 centimetres of ribbon. Then my extra tags. Then the ones that we've made from the kit. Plus, I've got a stamp set and I've still got some stuff left over. So I think that is really, really good. That's a lovely kit to use. And although it might seem expensive, you know, for when you've finished it and you've got your labels made up, just think of the fun you have making it. And I really did enjoy doing it. It was really good. So thank you for watching. I will um, put the details of, of the kit um, and everything I've used to make the extra little labels. And I'll write a blog post. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe because I will be making some more uh, videos. Thank you very much. Bye.